The numbers are telling us and the data is telling us that while we've made progress on increasing social distancing, that progress is not enough. And that's why I'm acting today to issue a stay-at-home order that begins Thursday, March 26th at 6 in the morning and lasts until Saturday, April 11th, 2020. The governor making the call to issue an executive order to stay at home for all of Colorado. It's something we've been anticipating for a few days. Like other states impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, every single Colorado now being called upon to do their part and help to stop the spread of the virus. Tonight, the official order has come down from the governor's office. We're reading through it to learn exactly how it will impact your life. But here's what we know right now. As the governor said, it starts tomorrow at 6 in the morning and runs through at least Saturday, April 11th. Everyone except critical businesses and their employees asked to stay home and the businesses that remain open must take all steps possible to comply with social distancing. And here's what the governor says are acceptable reasons to leave your home. This is a short list. There's much more first to get food or medicine to seek medical care, to deliver food or supplies to others, to care for a family member or vulnerable person or livestock at another location, to get to work if you're an essential employee, to engage in outdoor activity like hiking, biking, running and walking, keep that social distance though, he says, that six foot span, but all picnic areas, playgrounds and sports fields, they will be closed. And now this part is also very important. If you think you're experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 but do not require hospitalization, you're asked to call your doctor, isolate yourself in your home until your symptoms are gone or until you've had a test that comes back negative. And to be clear, this executive order is now the law in Colorado. While the National Guard will be out assisting with transportation and medical response, the military will not be helping enforce this order. We know many of you have a lot of questions about this order and how it's going to work. The governor's office has put out an extensive list tonight of answers about why they're doing this, what critical businesses will be open, how enforcement will work. You can find all of it right now. We put it at the top of our website, KOAA.com. We've reached out to local law enforcement, enforcement, by the way. They are encouraging everyone to read it as well. The general consensus among law enforcement in Colorado do not call 911 with questions about this executive order. That is key. They are being overwhelmed. They want to limit those calls to emergencies.